As is tradition, President Obama has a full slate of public events on tap for the inauguration. And Nancy Cordes is at the west front of the Capitol, where the swearing-in will be taking place. Nancy, good morning. And will we see some former presidents today? We will indeed, Nora. We will see two former presidents, Presidents Clinton and Carter. We will not see both Presidents Bush. The elder, as you know, has been ill. He's still recovering. And the younger sends his regrets. And what's really remarkable about this day is how carefully choreographed it is. Down to the minute, the minute that Michelle walks out of that door on the west front of the Capitol with the red curtain around it, what time the dignitaries walk out, what time the president himself walks out. And then at 11.55 on the dot, he gets sworn in by Chief Justice John Roberts. They will be using two Bibles today. That's not unprecedented. Three presidents in the past have done the same. The first Bible belonged to President Lincoln. He used it in his swearing in in 1861. President Obama used it four years ago. And the second Bible belonged to Martin Luther King Jr. It was his traveling Bible, and it's fitting because today is Martin Luther King Day. After the swearing in, the president and the first lady, family and friends, congressional leaders all head in to Statuary Hall with in the Capitol for a lunch. This is a tradition that dates back to 1897. They will dine on bison, on steamed lobster, and good old-fashioned American apple pie, Nora and Charlie. <laughs> Nancy Cordes, thank you.